They now say the highly celestial is the Jesus that has come back again. And so we must revere him, we must equate him with Jesus. So a person like uh, we, we they call themselves the Abingi order or uh, highly celestial, the first theocratical order. So if you hear, especially those of them that are into reggae music, they are very, very clear about people like Capleton. Uh, if you talk anything about Selassie, I then say you burn fire. Then 12 tribes of Israel, they believe, interestingly now, they, they believe their own founder, Emmanuel Charles Edwards, he was their founder, he founded it in 1958. They, they think that that Emmanuel is the return of Christ, the reincarnation of Christ. So, Mr. Feeling and I'm feeling my moonlight, spreading love and feeling fine. Come together, praising with all our might. In this night, the red and feeling so bright. Cause that are the ones who never and rejoice. Lift our voices high, let the world hear our voice. In every rhythm, we find peace and solace. So, sir, welcome. Uh, we we give you the floor, sir, because it's very important for us as Christians to understand this our brethren and understand them better. Because when you understand something, it it, it simplified. Yes. And it becomes easier for you to handle it. Yes. Because I realize the few years I, 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 I've done some things with Rastas. So you will you will literally see these differences when you do something and like the time we used to give skills, free skills to Rastas. You will see that as they all come for these skills. They, they are different. Actually, they, are, they know themselves. They know which mm. denomination or which group each person belongs. They know. And we realized that we were sharing the word of God. Some were more receptive than some. You know, and when I began to know a little bit more about the tribe of Judah, they, w- they were more receptive to the gospel than than some other groups. So I would please, we would like you to take us deeper, sir. Okay. Um, uh, Brother Zico, would you start with a prayer for us? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this moment that you want to show us some things we ought to know that we will glorify yourself, we will glorify you through even this form of reggae music we do to help us understand what we ought to do and what we ought not to do. Father, we ask that, Lord, even as the light is being shed, that we will understand better in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Amen. You. Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you, sir. Um, so, this conversation today is still trying to make us understand our brothers, the Rastas, who, like we know, many people associate reggae with Rastafarianism, and they think that everybody that sings reggae is a Rasta. (laughs) And we say, no, we are not all Rastas. And um, of course, we know the origin, Rastafarianism, came from the name of the, the given name of Haile Selassie you know, Emperor Haile Selassie Haile Selassie was the name he took when he became an emperor you know, just the same way 
Sanusi Lamido, Sanusi took Sanusi Mohammed II, uh, or, or uh, Pope Francis, or Karo Vostila took Pope John Paul II. So when you get coronated, you take a name, and his original name was Ras Tafari Makonen. Yeah, before he became Emperor Haile Selassie. Um, it's always important we know this because uh, even though some people already know it, we reiterate it because as a human creation, much of what started happening to Rastafarianism was because of this origin. So when there was persecution in uh, in uh, Jamaica because the slaves, the black slaves, did not want to remain slaves, people like Marcus Garvey started the whole idea of let us go back to Africa. So you hear in many of the songs, hey, we're going forward to Africa because we are black. They just felt that we are being rejected in this West Indies, we need to go back to Africa. And Marcus Garvey actually started, he tried to acquire a, a ship called the Black Star Liner. You hear it also in different songs. Home forward to Africa. I think go on the Black Star Liner. If you hear it on several songs. So Marcus Garvey was the one who said that was a revelation in the book of Revelation that should look way to the east for the crowning of a black king. Uh, and then, of course, when uh, Rastafari Makonen was selected as that king and crowned, he said, yeah, that's the black king. But he looked at the man as a king, as a human being that was um, that was very well respected. Then, with time, when they formed Rastafarianism, there were other people that said, no, that man is Jesus that has come back again. They now say, the Haile Selassie is the Jesus that has come back again. And so we must revere him, we must equate him with Jesus. So a person like uh, Marcos Gavi did not agree. The militant group formed the Nyabingi group uh, under, is it, um, is it George Howell or so? Uh, I forgot, but I think it's Howell, that is his name. That man led the group that founded, so the way you hear the Catholics say we are the first Christians, that's the same way uh, the Nyabingi group say they are the first Christians. These ones, everything they believe in is that Jesus, I mean, sorry, that Haile Selassie was the Jesus that has come back and we must give him the same regards that we give to, to Jesus Christ. And of course, not everybody agreed so a lot of them were disagreeing with with him and uh, with uh, his group. Um, so generally, the Nabingi group, their own is very very clear. We don't we, we they call themselves Nabingi order or uh, Haile Selassie, the first theocratical order. So if you hear, especially those of them that are into reggae music, they are very, very clear about people like Capleton. Uh, if you talk anything about Selassie, they will say you burn fire. You know, the, for them, they worship Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie is Jesus that has come back again as he promised that he's coming back and the white people in their normal uh, way of not letting black people get the glory, that's why they don't want to allow him to be known as Jesus. They even trace 
the Haile Selassie's lineage to, I mean, Solomon's relationship with the Queen of Sheba and say he was born through that lineage. It, it has been proven that that is not true. But you know, when a people are trying to validate themselves, I mean, people who have been tortured for centuries, they, they are slaves, they are grand, their great-grandfathers were all slaves. So you can understand where they were coming from. They were sincere, but as a Pastor D.K. Lukoya used to say, say, you can be sincere, but you will be sincerely wrong. You know, you can be sincere in what you are doing, but you are sincerely wrong. And so that's the kind of um, thing we see with most of the Rastafarian groups and orders. Because for them, they started looking for everything African. So they worship um, Haile Selassie, they worship his wife, Empress Menin. The, the, even the name Nabingi is a, a, a queen in the 19th century in Uganda, uh, between Uganda, Rwanda, and Tanzania. Th that the area that is now known as those areas, that's where she used to exist. And she used to be into spirit possession. That is, as we get into a trance, and she had all those powers. And she used to oppose the British Empire, fought against the British Empire, you know. So, I mean, a woman who fought the British, a woman whose spirit still possessed more people after her. I mean, this was somebody to be worshipped for them. So, for them, they picked Nayabingi as their name, as their own way of saying, in Africa, we are different from the whites. We have respect for women and our women have got a lot of power. So if you see in their order, you see that the women are well covered uh, and a lot of things like that. So that goddess spirit in uh, Bingi, that, that spirit is what they use to name their own uh, order the Nyabingi order. They say they are the foundation, but they are, the other group then followed, the group now that is called the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, the 12 tribes of Israel, their own is, in fact, some people call them the Christian Rastas because everything for them is like Christianity. So that's where you have people like Luciano, you know, who for them, you hear their songs, they are reading the Bible every day, they do everything. In fact, I don't know if any of you remembers the song by the late Garnet Silk. Garnet Silk sang the song called Christ in His Kingly Character. Christ in His Kingly Character. Christ. The reason that song is very important is that it is the it's like the 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 the, um, the the real decree, the real thing that the twelve tribes believe. They believe that this Haile Selassie you are talking about is Christ that has come back as a king. That he is not Christ himself, but he is Christ that is in a kingly character. You know, that uh, they accept Jesus as the master and Haile Selassie is Jesus that has come in the kingly character. Then the founder uh, of the 12 tribes of Israel group, his name was uh, Vernon Carrington. They call him, they regard him as the prophet. So in some of them, some of them even consider these people as the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. So while we in Christianity look at the Holy Trinity uh, as Jesus Christ, God, and uh, 
the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, they look the other way. They look at um, they look at um, Venon Carrington, who they call Prophet God. And uh, you know, in our one of our episodes of this conversation, we talked about uh, a chapter a day keeps the devil away. Really, it is linked to these uh, twelve tribes of Israel, because Prophet God, that is the founder of the twelve tribes of Israel group, taught his people that they should read the Bible a chapter a day, and then, of course with their own belief they now added it keeps the devil away that if you read a chapter a day it keeps the devil away and muma muma dealt very well with that subject that the fact that we read a chapter a day does not really keep the devil away for them like i said they believe that Haile Selassie is jesus christ that has come in a kingly character and uh, he is part of that trinity. So they look at him like, okay, he's a divinely anointed king from the lineage of uh, King Solomon, and um, they need to give him all the reverence that need to be given to that kind of um, king. In terms of 12 tribes, they take the tribes from the tribes of Judah. For them, January, is equal to Naphtali, February is Joseph, March. So it's according to the year you were born in the 12 tribes. So the 12 months of the year, you belong to a tribe mm. in in that world. Hello? <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. I yeah. have. I have come from uh, them before. So those of us like me now, I was born in December. I will be Asha. June, anybody born in June is Levi. July is Judah. Uh, August is Issachar. September is Zebulon. October is the tribe of Dan. November is the tribe of Gad. December is the tribe of Asher. January is the tribe of Naphtali. February, the <laughs> tribe of Joseph. <laughs> Oh March God. is the tribe of Benjamin. April, April is the tribe of Reuben. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and May is the tribe of Simeon. So, you know, it's important we know how these people think. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. it's really important because we'll see them and we'll say these people are all Rastas, you know, but they, they are not all the same. For them, they still they still respect Haile Selassie, but in their own case, uh, unlike the Nyabingi, who say Haile Selassie is God, he is Jesus Christ who has come back again. Twelve tribes say we respect him as the human appearance of God, but he's not God. So when you see them, you, you hear people talk a lot. Uh, about the Bible, they sing everything about the Bible. They read the Bible almost, almost everything. If you are a Christian and you do not look at this deeply, you will literally think that they are Christians. And that's why, if you listen to Luciano's songs, Mama Lucy and I are always talking about Luciano's songs. That is, she will say, "It's God that will judge his matter," <laughs> you know. Uh, because you know you listen to Luciano's songs they are very uplifting very all of that but for them as uh, 12 tribes Igbo is their uh, sacrament <laughs> is a holy weed is a holy herb they don't <laughs> now and they smoke it and this things that we're even describing the disagreements out about these small 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 matters are the things that would differ in other tribes that we are going to see i mean sorry other other mansions of rasta we are going to see we have seen the nabingi mansion we have seen the 
uh, 12 tribes. Um, you you still have mansions like the, the oh, Bobo Shanti. Yeah. Uh, again, those ones are another group entirely. They are the Covenant Rastafari. There's the Messianic Dreads. So in each of these ones, uh, some of them say, don't smoke weed, just eat it. Some of them say, uh, <laughs> say some of them say, uh, you don't cut your, your dread. Because, yes, you, you are not allowed to cut your dread. Uh, for some, because they say it's when you cut your dread, that's exactly why Samson lost his power. You know? <laughs> so for for them, cutting your, your dread is anathema. You shouldn't even just touch it because it's a symbol of your power, it's a symbol of your authority, if you say. Anyway, so the third one I was talking about is the Bobo Shanti. Yes, so Bobo Shanti, for them, essentially, their their name is is from the Ashanti tribes in Ghana, because yeah. you know most of the slaves, most of the slaves were actually taken from Ghana, the slaves that went to the West Indies some from Benin Republic area, some from Nigeria. They took Bobo, Bobo means black, and then Ashanti, so they just shortened it to Bobo Shanti. Then they believe, interestingly now, they, they believe their own founder, Emmanuel Charles Edwards, he was their founder, he founded it in 1958. They, they think that that Emmanuel is the return of Christ, the reincarnation of Christ. No, I don't get so, <laughs> <laughs> so then get problem. Oh my gosh. You know, That's so, why it's like gospel reggae artists and you don't know these things. You just be singing from the surface. That yes. when it comes to when it comes to the people some of these people that were meant to reach out with the love of God. Mm-hmm. It's so important to know what their issues are. Thank you yes. so much. Go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if you listen to, I don't know if anybody remembers me, where a song called Tour by Capleton around 1994. Come from Jamaica on a foreign land to people. So, in, in one of the lyrics in that song, he said, this Emmanuel and no for them are fight. This Im- he, 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 I've, I've forgotten the lyrics at that point. But that was where I said, this Emmanuel that he's talking about, the, the context in which he was using it was not Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus Christ. Mm. You know, he seemed to be referring to a human Manuel. So much later, I mean, I kept when the internet came. I mean, this was 1994. My brother was a DJ, so we always had events, and that song "Tour" was very, very popular in the dance dance hall. So we used to play it, and I just kept wondering. This thing sounded like gospel in terms of content. But this was not Jesus Christ that he was referring to uh, in terms of uh, Emmanuel. And later I got to find out that, oh, he is one of those Rastas who believe in the divinity of this uh, Prince Emmanuel Charles Edwards, who founded it. For them, they say he is Jesus Christ who has come back, I mean, in in, the, in, the, in a black person. So remember, in Adingi, believe that uh, Jesus Christ had come back in the person of Haile Selassie. Yes, now, and then... <laughs> 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 
Emmanuel. 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 You know. Big, big problem. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. They actually call him in their own group. They say Prince Emmanuel Charles Edwards, without mother or father, a priest of Melchizedek, the black oh. rice in the flesh. That's, that's how they greet him. That's how they they refer to him, you know. And for them, here they are on now, they substituted that other uh, Venom. So their own trinity is Emmanuel and then Haile Selassie. And Haile Selassie is God in their own. Haile Selassie is not Jesus Christ that has come back. Haile Selassie is God in their own trinity. And then Marcos Gave is prophet. Hmm. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so Emmanuel is the high priest uh, after the order of Melchizedek, you know, and for them, they must grow their own food. They must be just self-reliant. They shouldn't relate with any body. If you, Sizzler is one of them. Sizzler is one of the Bobo Shanti. He used to be in Naibingi. Um, if Sizzla and Luciano them were under exterminator record, he, Luciano, um, Dean Fraser, and all of that, their disagreement, Luciano and the, Luciano moved more towards 12 tribes. You know, that's why if you see the nature of his songs from around the late 90s, it changed more towards more of Christianity. That is, you know, like I remember when I said the 12 tribes, they call them the Christian Rastas. Mm. So while Sizzla moved more towards the Bobo Shanti group, but of course, remember that the, um, they call them Bobo Dreads. Um, again, if you remember Josie Wales' song, see the bobo dreads bobo dreads the bobo shanty okay does anybody remember why they call this hair dreadlocks mm-hmm. <laughs> i just said you call me dada that's why they call it i don't know the inception mm-hmm. of it <laughs> there used to be a time you know, you know this this uh, Rasta movement is one of the few religious movements that was for physical emancipation of the people. Don't relate with this uh, oppressive government. We are moving away from the people. We don't. Babylon cannot oppress us. So they used to fight, physically fight uh, government agents, police, uh, and all of that. So then because they lacked many of the uh, natural resources and because many of them also believe that cutting your hair is a abomination is a, a you know is against the biblical injunction then they say that the hair that is locked is, is, is they dread it they make they, they use it to dread babylon that is to, to chase babylon so is dreadlocks so your hair is supposed to be used to chase away babylon it's almost like weapon hmm. so if you're wearing dread that's why if you are if you are wearing normal hair, they call you bald head. Bald head does not mean you have to have a bald head like me, physically. It's just that you are not dread. So you are bald head. That's yeah, what I want. Bald head. You know, <laughs> if you remember in Bob Marley's song, uh, Time With Tell, Ja will never give a power to a bald head. Okay. Run, run, crucify the dread. 
So if you give the power to the bald head, they'll come and crucify the dread. Hmm. So time alone, time will tell. So all this that were, were seen, if you'll be listening to those lyrics, you won't know that actually they were uh, religious statements being made. And while you and I, who were not in that environment, we are just listening to it as music. But yeah. then they are actually sending messages to their people who are supposed to fight Babylon, who are supposed to resist maybe another uh, Rastafarian order, or who are, you know, different, different messages were going on in these songs. And they are still going on. They're still uh, going on every day. We, we listen to them, we enjoy rhythms and all of that, but they are busy sending messages to themselves. Bobo dreads, they are the ones that wear those long, they tie their hair in long uh, turbans. You know? okay. Yes. So most of them, it's not like they are the only ones, but mostly again Sizzla is a good example when you see in some of his albums you see that he would tie his hair long up uh, a number of them that believe so Sizzla Kalonji Ja Mason Junior Kelly uh, Luton Fire Ras Shiloh Junior Red if you hear them they, they, they always believe that their own thing, everything Africa is what they are celebrating. This evening, even when I was driving home, uh, one of the songs I love so much uh, by Sizzla, Black woman and child, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you I love so much, no. Ooh. You know, very good song and all of that. It's a, for them, it's a very, powerful Bobo, Bobo Dread, Bobo Shanti, Rastafarian song. While you and I are listening to it and thinking they are just motivational songs, for them, in terms of their religion, their religion is they celebrate Africa. Anything that's come from Africa is yeah. the same way you and I think of Jerusalem to go on a pilgrimage. Yes. So the way me and you are relating to that song and saying that, okay, yeah, it's just a harmless song and it's good and all of that. Yes, it is good. But it's like maybe a Muslim or somebody taking one of our gospel songs or one of our Christopherian songs. He just likes the rhythm, you know, that's how me and you were listening to those songs. We were saying, oh, nice songs, but they are not they are not exactly Christian songs, but they are heavy Rastafarian songs and they are religious yeah. songs for them. Religious songs for them. Yes, mm -hmm. we must understand those differences that they might look ordinary to us, but for them, uh, anything black skin must be celebrated anything blessing of the sun a blessing of the sun the way queen omega queen omega used to cover her body and all of that all those moral principles they keep to them uh, but again Igbo is a sacrament and it's all the groups have a go as the, as a common thing. Yes. They might differ in many other ways, but when it comes to Igbo, all of them yeah, relate to it. And they believe in it. Yeah, they, they also, Igbo, how they consume it also matters in the, all the... Uh, so, yeah, from it for some. <laughs> like Bobo Shanti now. Bobo Shanti will not eat salt, they will not eat oil. So, uh -oh. yeah. uh, they must not eat salt, they must not eat oil. No alcohol. That uh, means they are not. Yes. 
and then they should not smoke uh, marijuana in public. It is only to be used as incense during their worship. <laughs> so this is a you know these small 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 differences they are mm. so important that's serious because, difference but mama yeah. i discover i discover when? that some people doing reggae as in calling uh, themselves uh, reggae music ministers also do you know that there are still some that still take distance before they go into the studio to record the song? Uh, we are coming there. We are coming there, my brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That, that is having no knowledge of what we are trying to, what we are trying telling us now. They will think it's yeah. normal thing. So, sir, the bob, the bobo shanty. The one is that the marijuana you go smoke and but not in the public. Yes, and in fact, they don't even encourage it to be smoked. But they encourage you to, well, you know, if, when they are worshiping, they can they can smoke it during worship. But the, it should go maybe the way I don't know if you know how some of these people burn incense, like most people. Yes, and I remember you, Roy, when he was using the hookah. The hookah is the so the marijuana will pass through water. They will burn the smoke, but the pipe will pass through water. So the water is supposed to purify it. One kind I don't know how I don't know how it works, but <laughs> <laughs> it just but just to know that the things these guys do are not without they are all symbolic. I think they have yeah. meanings that are tied to them. Yeah. yeah. You know, they have meanings that are tied to them and one needs to be, be mindful of Those what things. they mean. Yes. Yes. What, what, that like groups like the African unity. Is it that no mm. ones um, what do they what do they do differently? Those ones are called themselves African Unity. African Unity, they too they are a variant of the uh, Bobo Shanti. So essentially, they too uh, believe that there is power in African Unity, and that essentially it is if if we are united as africans we can always overcome we can always take over the world you know so generally the african unity group of rastafaria they they do many of the other things believe in uh Haile Selassie, believe in many of the, the the african originated stuff there's even the group called the Kingdom Rastas. Where did I write? I think I wrote that down somewhere. Because these groups, like I said, their own their own differences are just small, 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 small. Yes, you know, sir. yeah. Uh, those who believe more in Marcos Gave, so the African Unity Group, really also think of moving back to Africa. We have been taken away from our roots, and therefore we can never prosper. The it's almost like Christians going on pilgrimage to Jerusalem again. You know this idea of let us go to where our spirit is tied. We were removed. We are outside of our main territory, and so we need we need to go back, united back to Africa. There's even a, a new group calling themselves the new Rasta Dem. You know, there are young people, no. most of them. Now, uh, the Pentecostal, the Pentecostal Rasta. Exactly. <laughs> then the Pentecostals of the Rastas. Hmm. So, uh, most of them. 
young musicians, you know, they are mostly entertainers, you know, and for them, uh, they are going back to roots reggae, you know, but for them, you know, most of those had life. You know, um, I think I, I didn't say it earlier, but I think the Bobo, the Bobo Shanti and even the Nyabingi mostly believe we shouldn't even mingle. They live on the hills, you yeah. know, away from people and all of that. Now, this younger generation that call themselves the new Rasta them, uh, new Rasta them, uh, Kofi, Chronics, Protege, and all of that. For them, uh, we need to we need to mingle. They don't want to miss the joy the joys of uh, the the modern world. So instead of going to live in the the bush, let's let, we can still enjoy uh, life. this life. Uh-huh. And we have- and still call, and still call ourselves Rastas. So there are many smaller smaller groups, but it's already ten o'clock. Uh, Messianic Dreads, Sea Gold Empire, Celestian Church. Uh, okay, like I already mentioned, the the new Rasta them. Mm. So, but overall, if you see the differences in many of them, you see that some of them. Uh, have different beliefs about the Bible, some different beliefs about dreadlocks, others the different beliefs about the what they eat, then others their difference is in ganja, particularly ganja. The if you believe, I, I also remember when uh, Muta Baruka, <laughs> Mama Lucy, your man Muta Baruka. He said, "Me never smoked ganja before in my life. Me never smoked ganja." Now, when I used to hear that, I say, "How can Mutabaruka tell me he has never smoked ganja? How can?" It's then later that I realized, that, "Oh, there's a difference." Today, some of them they cook ganja and eat. They drink it yeah. as tea. They do every other thing, but they don't Papa. smoke it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. and those ones are the most the, they are the greatest consumers because they are chopping everything yes. Every, they are chopping, yes they are chopping everything the people who smoke it a lot of it is lost in smoke yeah. you know but these ones that who, who slice it and use it to cook jollof rice uh, put it uh, yeah. as salad they will uh, this is, they are eating the whole stuff so the fact that he said he has never smoked ganja doesn't mean that he's a a saint compared to the others <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much I, i'll stop here and then thank maybe you. if there is general questions thank or comment <laughs> and you were uh, giving us the breakdown on all these issues as a christian as a child of god a gospel reggae artist you begin to ask yourself how do we preach to people like this mm. and if you ask yourself what can what can people like us do for people like them to be able to listen to the gospel yeah as a as we were speaking a topic came to my mind the Christopheran as and the holy spirit mm. so we also look at for us to be able to know how can we penetrate a community that is that is that is that is designed to operate in this format very from 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 the this, to that discussion they look as people that are completely impossible for you to preach to but with god all things are possible so the scripture that kept coming to my mind as you were speaking sir is still 
the scripture God gave to us, Romans chapter 10, from verse 2. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to the righteousness of God. Mm. For Christ is the end of the law for the righteousness to everyone who believes. So the reason why their own matter can never end, why they, why the reason why there is no end to their own laws, there is no end to their doctrines. First of all, is because they have not believed in the righteousness that God has given to us through His Son Jesus Christ. So they are, they are, they have all, you know tried so much to create their own righteousness so you can see that in these different groups everybody is feeling more righteous than the other <laughs> and yet it is man-made righteousness <laughs> man-made righteousness you know you know when you look at their different beliefs and everything just man-made righteousness and it's funny also how this group believe that this person is the is the return of Christ. And another group also believe that their own leader is also the return of yeah. Christ. <laughs> so was Christ supposed to, was Christ meant to return in so many people's many people's images? So it shows us that we have work as christopherian we have work to do we have work to do because we are our job is not just to create songs it's not just to you know write songs record albums the community the world the people that god has given us this music to be able to reach out to that 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 in darkness so and the darkness is not small darkness, it's gross darkness. Because the darkness of self-righteousness. Yes. So they are self-righteous. <laughs> In fact, yes. it will take only God Himself and the Spirit of the Living God. And so that's why we we have to go beyond mere songs. There is something we need to carry beyond the ability to sing. Something that will make them say to us, we are doing reggae, you're doing reggae, but your one is different. What is the what is the secret? We I need it. We must get to that point where they will look at us and say, please, I need what you have. So that is why this this um this this thing we are doing and we are just doing it as if we are doing one part time thing and we are not giving it the attention we need to give to it particularly spiritually we are we are we are making a mistake and if we are not careful they, will, they can only look at us and laugh because we cannot afford to remain very shallow with what we are doing particularly spiritually shallow with what we are doing. I think we are going to be able to impact a people like this. Nothing going to be possible. No? So may God, may God help us. And, and, and as Oga is, is giving us the breakdown, I'm just praying for every Christopher. I'm going to pray for every gospel reggae artist that when the Lord you know, help us to arise. May the Lord help us to know the depth of what He has called us to do, and may God help us to, to you know, to come back on our knees and say, Lord, please empower us. Amen. Because with that Amen. great move of this, without the great move of the Spirit in our camp, 
nobody will see the light. That's true. That's true. Sure, you know we don't. Sure, you know we don't sing better than them. If it is talent. No, no, that is. Now them be the genesis now. We don't like even. It. We don't even do the productions. Sometimes as good as they do their productions. Yes. So there must be some. There must be something extra about us for them to be attracted to our true Jesus. Mm. Yes, what that's what that's true, man. So our heart cry is, Father Lord, let your hand come upon us in a new way. Because mm. you see, why you don't know what what we what we're taking for granted is that each of this group is no longer a small group. They have become global groups. Yeah. They have their members in every nation, including Nigeria. <laughs> and they are not they are not just a few. There are so many of them. So may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord God Almighty, may the Lord, may the Lord, the hand of the Lord come upon us in a new way. Because the reason why we are we're doing this research, the reason why we are looking into these details is we want to know how can we reach these people? And so may God, may God, may God, may God help us. God Amen. Help. Amen. May we, may we, may we, may we become more serious about what God has called us to do. If not, how do you as an individual now? How do you intend to bring this this category of people to Christ? Mm-hmm. Uh, when they are even when coming when it comes to music, they are more serious than you musically. Yeah. Yeah. So there must be something extra about us beyond our music that will become the divine attraction that will make them to say, please take me to your God. Mm. When we were talking about uh, the, uh, last week, should we discussed uh, um, uh, this music, um, uh, Mama, please could you remind me the <laughs> I don't know what's distracting me right now. The music yes, we discussed last week, the drumming. Okay, what well, we're talking about is like Nabigi drums. Yeah, Nabigi Drum. drumming that. Yes. I mean, and I was, yeah. I was saying that every time we hear about Nabingi, our minds as Christians, even as Christopher, even as gospel reggae artists, our hearts don't go to the fact that. The word Nabingi is actually is actually a a belief system. It's a spiritual movement. But our heart will just go to our heart will just go to 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 the interesting themes of the Nabingi drums. I know how how I love Nabingi. You know, some of us we we say ignorantly. (laughs) Some of us are even Nabingi beats. For some of our songs, just because we love the rhythm of the Nabingi drums, but we don't look beyond the rhythm to see that the Nabingi thing is actually a belief system. It's a religion. It's a movement. It's a spiritual movement. So if we are not careful, we will do the things they do, not knowing that we are actually doing what they are doing. I mean, these people. Who play the Nabingi drum? That drumming, oh, they worship David. with that drumming system for maybe eight that hours, nine the hours. Mm-hmm. It's a real thing, though. It's a real thing that they got out to play these drums, and they are women. This they translate into, they begin to manifest this, this, this spirit. In fact, until the manifestation begin to happen. So we are we are far from the truth if we don't keep learning these things and knowing exactly that. So when people see us as Rastas and we say we are not Rastas, do we know why they see us as Rastas? 
But if I those of us carrying dread like me. <laughs> so, so we really need to sit up. The reggae thing is beyond just just recording albums. If we really want to win souls through reggae music, we need to know what we're dealing with. And it's important that even in the group, the gospel reggae group, a lot of people are now finding time to join these discussions because they don't even know what we are dealing with. <laughs> no, seriously, this this these discussions have been great uh, exposition to me. Uh, actually, uh, because me, I I I think I've just done research maybe once or, but all these things are some depths that I've never known before. Even these drum beats, or they are just thought they are just like that, not knowing that they are meant for another spiritual kind of uh, worship. Oh. And the same thing you said, Mama, and it's very, very necessary. The Bible says, work out your salvation with, with fear and trembling. And that boils down to whatever assignment that God has given you, as far as reggae music is concerned, you must connect yourself to him. Mm. Uh, I was reading uh, one book by Bishop Oedeko. He said, God urges us to be holy. He said, if everything has to move well in your life, that you have to be holy so being holy again is an intentional act it's an intentional act just like when joseph saw this he ran away he didn't stay and he was praying no he ran so there are some certain there are, like this morning i was this month this morning i was praying i was like god any minister that has been trapped by a kind of life that is not pleasing you lord set them free you know it's not that uh, it's not that I am I am more righteous than them or whatever, but I just know that God has given us ability, but the abilities differ due to the fact that our relationship with Him differentiates or specifies the kind of ability we have. If so, someone with God well, yeah, you're right. So that takes well. me to that takes me to some of our brethren that used to be rastas before mm. who are now christians but still walking in the ways of the rasta mm. so that's why we're having this discussion this conversation this breakdown these informations so i will be able to separate ourselves like you said and separate ourselves fully to the Lord Jesus Christ, the true Jesus, not the not, not the one that they have chosen for themselves, but the true mm. Jesus, God, the Father sent to us. Mm. So, and Mama, there's one thing I discover: it's not all about writing songs. You know, the the relationship you have with God. When, whenever you put down a song, maybe get to the studio and record a song, when people hear it, they can be able to determine what spirit is coming out of that song. Because it will, your relationship with God cannot be hidden whenever He gives you a divine inspiration. When the song comes out, definitely, even if it is the beat they are using, just as you said, that the Holy Spirit should be in us. So it will, it, will, it will bring about that differentiation from what they do, despite the fact that it's the beat that is being used. But when you hear it, you just know that this person is spiritually sound. So I just pray that God, God will give us grace yeah. to get close to him. It's not easy, actually. The Bible says the, the, the race is not for the sweet, not for the strong, but it's the love that, that shows mercy. Part of my prayer yeah. always is God, show me mercy. God, show me mercy. Because... No, we will have you. No, we will have you. Hello. Yeah, I saw it coming to left because of network, I guess. Yes. Yelby is still listening. Yelby, how are you? Hello, Yelby. 
but his mic is mute, muted since. Hello, Yelby. Hello. Okay. Thank you so much, Eziko. God bless Mama. you. Thank you. Part of tonight, sir. Thank you so much, oh. Thank God. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, uh, no. <laughs> God bless you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still okay. learning, oh. You see, yeah. uh-huh. my God, it was really revealing. Yeah, we yeah. are not. We're, I'm seeing him as listening, but he's not uh, speaking. His my mic is muted. I'm going okay. to drop some books on Rastafarianism um, on the platform here. Okay. You know, on the this Christof, uh, Anybody that has time can try to read them. Um, it's just good to understand. You know, uh, the book. I have on the Rastafarians in Tanzania. And we will not know that some Rastafarians were actually repatriated early to Tanzania before uh, Haile Selassie gave them, gave the uh, Rastafarians land in Ethiopia called Shashamani land. Oh. You know, so if you hear even in some of the songs, they talk about Shashamani, Shashamani land. Um, um, they, they refer to it regularly. Now, a lot of things have happened as a result of the advent of those Rastas in Tanzania, in Zimbabwe, uh, and in Shashamani. In fact, I, I, I'll, I'll share the book. Let people read. Let me not take the the night is already bent, and then maybe in subsequent uh, things, we are not here to propagate Rasta, but we are here to understand the the, the, the our immediate environment, which is because we are using reggae as our medium to propagate Christ. Everybody is going to think we are Rastas. Everybody is also having a tendency to become a Rasta because a lot of reggae music has Rastafarian messages and it's good to understand them. And so when you hear them, you can you can say, ah, oh, this is uh, the 12 tribes people or these are the Bobo Shanti people trying to send their message. Okay. Right, let me just pray. Father, thank you so much. Thank for, you, Lord. For life, for bringing us together to learn of of these things. Because you, your word say, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Yes. And if we try to do your work without the things that we are supposed to know, we will walk in error. Yes. And may we not in our own Ignorance create another righteousness for ourselves, yes. like the righteousness have done. May we, oh God, daily embrace the righteousness that you have given to us freely through your Son Jesus Christ. Amen. But I help us by the help of your Spirit to daily, oh God, know you more, so we can help others who need to know you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, we the Bible says he that we need a soul is wise. As we learn of these things, increase your wisdom upon our life to be able Amen. to Together praising with all our might In this regular rhythm we live so 